Good evening, Filomena. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Miss. Thank you for being here. Yes. Okay, no problem today to log into the class. No tuvo problema no. para unirse. Okay, perfect. No problem. Sí, ya, ya no tuvo que hacer todo el proceso que estaba haciendo la, la vez anterior. No, ya más fácil. Mm, vale, como cuando nos mandan el enlace. Uh -huh. Nos piden registrarnos. Sí. Ya de ahí nos, man, nos mandan un correo. Ya de ahí directamente nos da para la Ya reunión. con el link sí ya queda permanente. Sí. sí, a saber cuál será el problema con Serafín, porque ayer decía que lo tenía que pasar de WhatsApp. Quizás es el navegador que él tiene en la computadora. Porque cuando sí, lo... con Chrome se vuelve como que un poco más difícil, creo yo, ¿verdad? Sí. No, no han ingresado, quizás están teniendo ese problema, pero bueno, vamos a esperarlo. Um, and how was your day, Filomena, today? ¿Cómo estuvo ese día hoy? Hoy, mm, busy. Very busy. Igual, ex, exactly. exactly. Bien. The same. Bien pesado. Uh, but today is uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, right? So, bueno. mañana ya llegamos a la mitad de la semana, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. ¿Sí? Ajá, sí. entonces ya, ya viene fin de semana, la esperanza. Sí. Ok, bien, vamos a comenzar porque en lo que los compañeros se, se ingresan, ¿verdad? No sé si estarán teniendo problemas nuevamente para... Para el ingreso, porque sí es raro que no hayan ingresado muchos a estas alturas, ¿verdad? Sí, porque siempre están varios conectados desde temprano. Uh -huh. Pero acá, bien, entonces vamos a dar inicio porque sí, no sé. Sí, pero nadie ha reportado hasta el momento en el chat. Se si ha tenido problemas porque les compartieron el, el video para que eviten esa situación, ¿verdad? Que algunos sí. todavía mantienen. Sí, acá, acá nos comenta Dimas que llegará un poco tarde porque aún no llega a la casa. Sí, como con el tráfico, ¿verdad? Entonces iniciamos, Filomeno, con usted. Porque estos chicos ya se van a poner. Okay, here. A iniciar. Ok, today is October 25th. October 25th, 2022. Remember that we use the ordinal numbers to mention the date. Ok, recuerde que usamos los números ordinales para la fecha, ¿sí? 25th, we say. Hello, Brandon. 25th. Hello, good evening, good evening. Thank you for joining. And today is October 26th, 25th, 2022. Next Monday is going to be the last day of the month, and we are going to be saying goodbye to this level, okay? El lunes de la otra semana, goodbye to the level, all right? And it is the last day. So, you're going to turn into the third motion. Here we go. And as I was telling Filomena, because I don't know why, she was the only one here very early. Maybe some of you are having problems, I don't know. Estaba diciendo a Filomena porque algunos eh, como que están teniendo problema para ingresar, no lo sé, that here, October 25th, you have to remember that we use the ordinal numbers, the ordinal numbers to mention or to say the date, okay? And here we have the agenda for our video conference number 16, because today is our 16th conference. As the first part, we have greetings, what we do every single day. We're going to have today as usual, a feedback of what we practiced the previous day. The objectives, one of you is going to help me reading the objectives. 
And today you're going to practice different ways to report a problem, yeah? To report a problem and you are going to manage vocabulary on how to report a problem by phone, a problem at work. Usually tech problems, okay? And to identify common issues in an office. Issues is a synonym for problems or situations. When you say, I have a situation, you say, I have a problem or I have an issue, okay? Entonces, issue is a synonym for situation. There we go. The objectives, I need one volunteer as every single day to read the objective. Who wants to help me reading the objectives? One volunteer, please. Hello, hello. Who's going to help today? Reading the specific objective and the class objective. Only one. Okay. Um, let me see. In the chat, what do I have? Okay, Jonathan, thank you for telling me. So I need one volunteer class. Um, maybe Blanky, are you available with your audio, Blanca Delgado? Blanky, are you available? Present. Present. Okay. Please let me read in the specific objective and the class objective, Blanqui. Please. Okay. The specific objective participants will be able to manage vocabulary on how to report a problem by phone. Mm -hmm. Class of objective participants will be able to report a problem via, via telephone. Telephone. Okay, thank you so much. You did a good job reading. Participants, the objective, the specific objective for today is as I read in the agenda that you guys as participants will be able to manage vocabulary on how to report a problem by phone and the class objective that you students or participants will be able to report a problem via telephone, okay? And here, let's continue. Again, a reminder for homeworks and evaluations, I have to congratulate some of you because some of you are already done with the four sections and even with the final test. Tengo que felicitar a algunos porque En el caso de Edwin, Carlos, me parece, y hay otros más que ya completaron todas las tareas e incluso el final test. El examen final también ya lo completaron. So, congratulations. Okay. Uh, last night I was updating the, the platform at midnight. Okay. And that is why I don't remember all the names who are done with everything but congratulations. But there are some others who are still remaining. Remember, on Monday is our last day. So by Monday, everything must be done. Para el día lunes, que es nuestro último día de clase, todo tiene que estar completo, okay? And here, again, the requirements, your full name, okay? Camera on, sound off, and active participation in the breakout rooms. Again, the attendance, I'm going to call your names two times. And at the end, we're going, one of you is going to stay with the teacher 10 minutes in order to have one-on-one -on -one session to have a feedback or reinforce or clarify any doubt. And previously, you know, okay? You have available the uh, ask for help button when you are in the breakout rooms and the mute or silence button when you are in the main session room, like right now, the two chats are available and we need to respect one another, always. But you always do. It is just because it is part of this, what I'm saying. And we are here because today is 25th and we're going to be over on October 21st, 31st, 31st. And I need everybody to be done by this day with the homeworks and evaluations. 
Entonces, para el día 31, recordándoles, todo el mundo debe haber finalizado todos los homeworks y las evaluaciones. Because it's going to be the last day. And here, a feedback. Yeah? If you remember yesterday class, we were having a general feedback, but also in the center of the class, we were reading these four activities, which is organize yoga classes, celebrate birthdays, paintball, and guess who? These are four activities that are deeply suggested to have uh, happy employees. So you get rid of the stress. Para deshacerse del estrés se sugieren estas cuatro actividades, ¿de acuerdo? Pero hay otras más que ustedes estaban compartiendo, ¿sí? Ok. So, in number one, we have, if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact. Underestimate, subestimar. Don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate, alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, brain function, and lift mood, lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? The second one, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely, rely on, rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people not just as employees, get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply, simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Paintball, give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out, though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit easy, lighthearted, fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. I think that probably celebrating birthdays is the most common activity that we have in our country in order to make uh, employees to feel happy part of the company because they are human beings, we are human beings. But somebody said that in his company, I think it was a he who mentioned that when you are the birthday boy or the birthday girl, they give you the day off. And that is also a good, a good you know, a good attitude on the company's part. And regarding to organize yoga classes, somebody also mentioned that uh, they have aerobic classes, okay, at lunch and in the afternoon in their companies, and also that they have a gym, which is extraordinary to have those things. But there are some other activities that you were mentioning, and you said that what 
some of you said that what makes you the happiest employee is when you receive the mid-year bonus, ¿ya? Cuando reciben el bono de medio año, algunos es cuando se sienten the happiest employee. And some others said when you go on vacation, right? Cuando se van de vacaciones. But the people remaining, they are not so happy because they have to, to do all the duties of the partner who is on vacation. Pero los que se quedan no se quedan felices porque tienen que asumir las actividades de quien se va de vacaciones. Is that okay? That is what you said yesterday. And after that class, if you remember, after reading this in the breakout rooms, you were determining if these statements were true or false based on this reading. Now I'm going to ask one volunteer in order to help me reading organize yoga classes. I'm going to ask four different students to read one of these four paragraphs. Okay, one volunteer to read paragraph number one. Only one, one volunteer to read paragraph number one. Okay, I'm going to choose the participant because you need to practice. Okay, very soon you're going to be in level number three. So practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. No matter if you make a mistake, mm -hmm. we're human beings as I told you. Okay, nobody's perfect. Okay, number one, who's going to read? Paragraph one, one volunteer. Thank you, Jenice. Go ahead, please. Ah, uh, no, Jenice, activate the microphone. No. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Number one, okay. organize, organize yoga class. Is you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day that not understand the may the impact yoga call how on their aptitude um outlook yoga can can help uh, alleviate stress cal tamin release tension improve brain function um lead mood what bass will will not want those outcomes Outcomes. Great outcomes. And then we say that yoga can help alleviate the stress, calm mm -hmm. the mind, mm -hmm. release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. Actually, yoga is, um, you know, a great help for many things regarding to our mindfulness and well being. In nuestro bienestar. Now I need another volunteer to read paragraph two, celebrating birthdays. Okay, Alejandra, hello. Wow, we're happy you're here, Alejandra. Okay, paragraph number two is for you. Good night, hola. Good evening. Este, good evening. Sorry. Ah, you see, because of the day today. Okay, good evening. Yes, I know, sorry. Miss, okay. begin. Two is celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rally on business games to boss morally. Simply um, no letting special occasion can have a big impact. It, it shows your team that you care about that them as people. Now, just as employees, get everyone to see a car, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Thank you, Miss Alejandra. And here, the idea, the purpose, the intention of this celebration for the birthday is that you don't just have to rely on, this is a verbal phrase, rely on, together, rely on, business games to boost morale. No debes solo apoyarte en los juegos de negocio para elevar 
o aumentar la moral del equipo. Simply acknowledging special occasions. Simplemente con reconocerles en ocasiones especiales can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people. Esto les hace sentir como seres humanos que se les visualiza como humanos. Okay. And here you have some tips in order to make them feel better. Now, another strategy is number three, paintball. Who wants to help me read in paintball? Jose Mario, welcome. Okay, we are happy you're going to help us reading number three, please. Uh, paintball. Give your employees and you um, the opportunity to live off some steam by organizing a day of painful. Simple getting out the, out the office can work wonders for the staff model. Wash out draw as the boss, you are going to be prime target. Excellent. Okay. This is very important. The last part, watch out. Though, as the boss, you're going to be the prime target. Como jefe, vas a ser el objetivo principal. Yes. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders. Con solo salir de la oficina puede hacer maravillas eso. Trabaja excelentemente. Yeah. Uh, for staff morale. There are some companies that prefer to, even though they have in their facilities um, wide spaces, tienen eh, espacios amplios, pero ellos prefieren take the employees to another place in order to give them the trainings para darle los, los, las capacitaciones. Because when you change the environment, it makes you feel relieved, you alleviate the tension and the stress, yes? Entonces, eh, uh, eso, con solo salir de la oficina en equipo ya, yeah, it helps wonders. Yes, Mr. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Good evening. Guess who? Uh, ask everyone to ring a childhood uh, photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, light-hearted uh, fun that while definitely help lift spirits while offering uh, plenty of humor along the way. Thank you. Ask everyone to bring a childhood, childhood photo. Una fotografía de la infancia de ellos of themselves and put them all up on a board and get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy. Esto es un poquito fácil. Pedirle a los empleados. Uh, Light-hearted, fun that will definitely help lift the spirits. Y esto les eh, mejorará el espíritu, okay? El, temperamento, while offering plenty of humor along the way. Y se divertirán porque van a conocer a los compañeros cuando eran bebés o niños pequeñitos. Ok. So this was the uh, reading that you had yesterday. Yeah. And right now, because of the time, I'm going to take the attendance. And here we go. And later we're going to continue with the other activity that you are going to be working on. So here maybe Ana Marlene, Marlene. Yeah. Hello, thank you. Ana Veronica. Present. Thank you, Miss. Brandon, I saw you, Brandon. Present, teacher. Okay, very early today. Carlos Miguel. I am here, teacher. Great, Carmen, I saw you, Carmen. Carmen, where are you? 
Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, perdón. Ok. Clelia, <laughs> Miss Clelia. That's fine. Thank you, Dani, Alberto. Dani, where are you, Dani? Daniel Alberto is not here. Oh my God, maybe later on. David, David Emanuel, are you here or not yet? David, not yet, very rear. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Okay, sí, porque no me si te le olvidó Edwin. Okay, uh, Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Ivania. Jenny's Caroline. Present. Thank you, Miss. Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, you're here, but your microphone. Okay, so uh, Jose Dimas, are you here or not yet? Because he was commuting. Porque iba de viaje. Aún no llegaba a la casa. Jose Manuel. Jose Manuel. Not yet. Jose Mario. Good evening. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Nilton. Nilton, I saw you. Present. Thank you. Serafin, saw you here too. Early. Here I am, teacher. Here I am. Great. William, Francisco. William. Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present, teacher. Great. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Blanqui. Alejandra Michelle. Alejandra Michel, are you here? Alejandra Nájera, Alejandra Michel Hueso Nájera. Alejandra, do you listen to me? Okay, Beatriz, absent and Noah. Absent at the moment. Okay, so that was part of the feedback class of what you did yesterday. Okay, and here, what else do we have over here, class? Okay, here. Uh, uh, if you turn off the mic, be great. Okay, thank you. I over here. Thank you. Okay. So look at this. If you remember class yesterday, you were working also in this exercise, but in your turn, part number four, you were creating a conversation about the temporary activities you and two other colleagues are doing these days. Do you remember that this was the last activity that you were, when I, ask you to come back here okay to the to the to the main session room and i okay i saw that you were working very hard on this activity but right now class you are going to work on exercise number six write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace okay you are going to write a paragraph of six lines. You are not going to write six sentences, no, because if you write six um, sentences, it is a list of sentences. And I don't want a list of sentences, neither the module. They are asking you write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. One example could be, okay, oh, here, okay. This is just an idea, but you use your imagination, your creativity. These days I am taking an English course, okay? I am mm, preparing 
de... de Christmas decoration decoration for my area to participate in the competition of the best decoration okay and so on here okay and then we have these days i am taking an english course i am preparing the christmas decoration for my area to participate in the competition of the best decoration because in many companies they encourage they motivate uh employees in order to decorate according to the season and they organize some uh, events like uh, a competition for the best area decorated for, with the christmas theme yeah so i want you to notice this these days i am taking an english course period i am preparing and then i continue with the next activity then a period when I finish that sentence, and after that, another sentence. Es decir, las oraciones van unidas y separadas por punto y seguido. No van, ustedes mira, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, ¿y qué hacen algunos? Uno, dos, tres, listado de oraciones, pero acá no les dice que escriban una lista de seis actividades, no. Write a six-line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Un párrafo, ¿ok? Esa es la diferencia entre listado y párrafo. De eventos que se van a desarrollar en estos días in your company. Is it clear the instruction, guys? Estamos claros con la instrucción. Yes? Yes. No. Okay, yes. very good. So you use your imagination in the case that you don't have too many events, but you can use some. For example, I am not in the competition of the, of the decoration of my area because I am right now here doing home office, right? So I will have to decorate my, my wall. But you use your imagination, okay? And your creativity, because later on you're going to share it with your partners, okay? Questions? Comments, no? Hello, Dimas. Hello, David Emanuel. Welcome, everyone. Okay, Hello, class. Everybody. So right now, Dima Barrera, you look different today. Why? I don't know. Okay, listen, I'm going to ask you to move to the breakout rooms. Everyone is going to write his or her short paragraph, six lines. But later you are going to read it to your partners, okay? Va a ser trabajo individual y en equipo. Primero escribe cada quien individual su párrafo y luego lo comparte con los compañeros. Is that okay? Yes? Yes, Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Please answer to me because I feel terrified when you don't answer to me because I think that I have lost my connectivity. Mire, así, crean lo que cuando no me contestan yo, oh my God, am I alone? Am I lonely the lonely? Estoy solita porque perdí la conexión. Y todos ahí, ¿verdad? Ahí sí que crea que no, no le escuchamos. Okay, so here we go. Okay, right now I'm going to send you the invitation. Here we go. Open your eyes big. Go to your groups, please, if you are so nice, and begin working, writing, and later speaking. Join your groups and practice. Juan Ezequiel, I need you in group number two. Thank you. Jonathan, if you are so nice, go to group number three. William, I need you in group number five. 
William, I need you in group number five. William, William, go to group number five. Hello. Thank you. Jonathan, we're going to be waiting for you. Bye. No, no, es que lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es eh, un reporte, un párrafo. Ah. De las actividades de seis líneas, te explicaba de las actividades que, que están programadas para estos días en nuestro lugar de trabajo. Ah, okay. No una conversación. Es por eso decía que lo hiciéramos individual y después que lo compartiéramos. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, gracias. gracias. He visto en la clase. Yes, vamos yes. A... Entonces vamos, vamos a hacer lo que son las. La escribimos después, las vamos a, a, a dictar. Vamos la que, la que Dimas, fundamos. where is Dimas? Is Dimas in New York City? Where is he? Yes. In New York City. Okay, great, amazing. Two Tower, Manhattan. Okay. <laughs> See you. Bye. Okay. ok, voy a escribir, pero voy a escribir una, un pa papel y lápiz. No problems, no doubts about the activity? No. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks for answering. See you. Ahorita estamos creando los diálogos. Ok, the paragraphs. Yes, very well, thank you. Sí, ok, ok, ok. Teacher, se vale que ponga que me toca mis vacaciones en diciembre. Oh, yes, I am organizing my vacations, ok, for next month or next December. Yeah. Okay. Great. Congrats. So all the months you are out in December. Todo el mes está fuera en diciembre. No, solo una semana. Only one sí, week. Otra, se otra semana en enero. The first week of uh, January. La primera semana de enero. Sí. Ah, uh, but that's good. Está bien porque pasa el fin de año y el inicio del siguiente año con la familia. Excelente. Wow, very well, great. Sí, se puede, se puede, claro que sí. Really important. Ok, bye. Bye. Uy. Ya la regué.
Lo comparte. Vaya, ahorita tengo... Eh, da, 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 da. Eh, we are planning the Christmas decoration. Eh, decoration. Estamos planeando la decora, la, las diferentes decoraciones de, de Navidad. Se están viendo diseños. Y... In this day, uh, why finish the restoration play play uh, the classroom? Tengo también tenemos también la planeación de planning of the event for the Cooperland Stadium is being carried out. También se está planeando para lo del evento. Okay. Uh, at the stadium. Yes, uh, el evento que va en el estadio, Cuscatlán. Cuscatlán Stadium, which event? ¿Cuál evento? El, tenemos un evento, el, no sé qué semana de noviembre. Es But what event? ¿Qué evento? Pero es lo que se está haciendo. Bueno, Pero es un evento event? cristiano. Ah, oh, ok. Okay, so you are preparing that. You are getting ready for the event that your church is going to have at uh, Cuscatlan Stadium, yeah? Okay. Okay. Very good, congratulations. Okay, very well. Ya compartimos nuestras actividades. Puedo terminar un ya el párrafo. Este, solo la compañera que todavía va de camino. Marlen. Okay. Okay. Sí. Like ok, I would like to listen to Marlene's paragraph. Dice, the birthday, the birthday, perdón, espérenme. <laughs> Así me corrige, teacher. Ok. The birthday of the employees of the mom. Woman, Pero miren, be... no, no, miren, tiene que ser seis líneas, dice acá. Escribe un párrafo de seis líneas y aquí solamente hay dos, una y media. Por eso les dije, yo solo el ejemplo, la introducción les di, six line paragraph, ok, por eso me sorprendió que todos habían ah. terminado y los otros equipos no, ok, para, pero léamelo y luego vemos que le agregamos, ok, read it Marlene, the, please. The birthday of the employees of the mom will be celebrated, ¿cómo se llama? Celebrated. Celebrated. Will we will also be celebrated yes. in the Christmas party? Uh -huh. And I will have my vac vacations. Vacation. Uh huh. Uh, and maybe you can increase that about the activities you are going to to have. During your vacations, ¿qué actividades planea hacer en sus vacaciones para que les hagan las seis líneas del parrafito? ¿Ok? Ah. Va. Then Me it's going to be ok. Entonces. Ok. And the rest of the partners y el resto de compañeros también, que sea parrafito, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, teacher, gracias. Ok, bye.
Does anybody finish writing the paragraph? Alguien finalizó de escribir el párrafo? Not yet. Okay, Nilton. A question. Okay, ask me. Is correct uh, this day in my workplace doing football pools Qatar 2022? Oh, in these days, okay. we are. Ah, we are. Porque mm -hmm. estamos, porque okay. la compañía, los compañeros, okay. We are. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Dijo. Pulling qué? Eh, en español sería la quinela, que sería como. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We are making or organizing the 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 pulling. Uh -huh. pools. Y pues sí. Como, uh -huh. About the World Soccer Championship or Qatar World. 2022. Qatar 2022 shorter. Uh, we are about, me dijo, no, quiero ver. Work it. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, great. Hello class, Jose Mejia is part of this group right now, from now on. Jose Mejia, do you listen to me? Hello, Jose. Hello, teacher. Okay, hola, I'm, going, hola. I'm going to tell you what your partners are doing right now, okay? Uh, they are okay. working at page 38, but they are working on this part. Uh, it is about writing. It is an individual work. You have to write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. I wrote this, this is the beginning of the paragraph, okay? These days I am taking an English course. I am preparing the Christmas uh, decoration for my area to participate in the competition of the best decoration. Y continúa porque le piden seis líneas en cada párrafo. ¿verdad? La idea es no escribir un listado de actividades, sino un párrafo. Sí, la diferencia entre párrafo okay. y listado es que el párrafo va separado por puntos y el listado uh -huh. es one, two, three, four, ¿ok? Y luego okay. lo van a compartir, ¿ok? En later you share with your partners. Ok, great. Welcome. Thanks. My pleasure. Eh, Carlos, are you ready with your paragraph? Yes. Okay, would you mind reading it for me, please? Okay, these days I am practice my English reading a uh, journal. I come up to meeting every day, 8 o'clock p.m. My co-workers working and the, uh, the annual project, I help as much as I can. I am preparing my workspace of the Christmas and the New Year in my colleague. Uh, are preparing their work space and planning our Christmas party. Okay. Excellent. Very well done. Congrats. And uh, David and Brandon, are you about to finish the paragraph? David Emanuel, Brandon, are you here? Estarán por acá los compañeros, Carlos. ¿O no ha habido comunicación con nadie? Mm, pues yo ya rato les hablé y no me hicieron caso. <laughs> oh, they ignore you. Please don't ignore him. Ok, Brandon. Teacher, estaba terminando el parro. Ah, ok, but are you about to finish or did you finish it? Mm, yes, did finish. Ok, read it, please. The activity that we will carry out in my workplace are in a uh, soccer and basketball tournament and a quart drill. Son actividades que se van a hacer. 
Excellent, very well. So they, in your company, they encourage the sports activities. Yes, teacher. And you know, those activities are also important to give a space to the employees in order to get rid of the stress, para eliminar el estrés, yeah? Because with the sport, in the reading, in the previous reading, they were mentioning uh, yoga. But in your company, you don't practice yoga, but you practice other sports, which is at the same level, yeah? Okay, great, very well. And David Emanuel, okay, David is not available at the moment. And Jose Mejia is going to start uh, writing, okay? So in two minutes, we're going to get back, okay? I'm going to give you two minutes, Jose Mejia, so you finish your paragraph. And later, okay. we're going to share in the main session room. Thank you. Did you Hello, finish teacher. the activity? Did you finish the activity, guys? Yes. Of, of course, teacher. Obviously. And did everyone read the, oh. the paragraph? Cada uno leyó ya el párrafo. Yes. Yes. Really? Really? <laughs> wow. OK. <laughs> pero cada quien su párrafo individual, pero no de dos líneas, ¿verdad? sino que seis líneas, six. Letter 30. 30, letra 30. 30. 30. Ah, Tamaño. Huge. I know. It is a paragraph, not two sentences. <laughs> okay, hold it. Someone wants to log in. Karen Murillo, okay, here. So I would like to listen to one of you. Me gustaría escuchar a alguno de ustedes leer su párrafo. Nobody, why not? <laughs> eh, teacher, eh, my paragraph. 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 Paragraph is um, in this month is my birthday. Wow, congratulations. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. In my in my job there was a chain of presidents. The 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 earthquake, <laughs> earthquake mine. The headquarter, uh, headquarter, porque okay, headquarter de la de la de la oficina principal, yeah, headquarter. Headquarter. Uh -huh. The the other week in my house. Uh, the Christmas decoration robot. Home since next week, since November the first. November, November seven is the tradition. Oh really? Wow, really. two months. Uh huh. Okay. And, and and on November eight, my son will be thirteen years old. My son will turn thirteen. With like Will this, turn. Uh -huh. Va a cumplir. Turn. like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Uh, it's all. My teacher. son is turning 13. My son is turning. Uh -huh. Y cuando uh, recién acaba de cumplir años, los 13 años, you say, he just turned 13. Yeah, acaba de cumplir 13. That is going to be in December, right? That you're going to say he just turned 13. Okay, but you say my son is turning 13 or in your case, because your birthday is this month, you say I am turning, voy a cumplir blah, blah. Y dice la edad, okay? Very well. Okay, class, I think that maybe we can get back to the main session room. Yeah, because all of you are ready to share with the partners. Thank you for sharing with me previously. And here we go. Let's return.
great class. Right now, it is the time for you to shine. Okay, you are the stars. Volunteers to read your paragraph to share with the class. I've been listening to some of you in the breakout rooms, but it is good that you practice reading, speaking, pronunciation. Thank you, Miss Ana Veronica. Welcome, okay. you're the first volunteer. Uh, these days I participate in the virtual new senior school. I am preparing for the teaching. I am keeping uh, you up to date with concerted activities and delivery. Delivery day. On Saturday, going to my college wedding celebration. <laughs> November 2nd is a holiday. I will think and I honor my grandmother. Excellent. That's great because on November the second, yeah, you need to do that. Well, you you have to if you have somebody, right? Because in the other cases, if you don't have someone to to honor, okay, in the in the cemetery, you don't do it. And thank you so much. Great, excellent. And so you you're having a party on on Saturday, yeah, with your colleagues to celebrate. Excellent. Wow, enjoy for us. Good for you. Excellent. Pero. Okay, another participant. Someone else. Thank you, Carlos. Please be my guest. Begin. Uh, this day I'm practicing English in journal. Uh, I connect to meeting every day, eight o'clock. My co-workers working in the, the annual project, I help as much as I can. I am preparing my workspace for the Christmas and the new year. My colleagues are preparing their workspace and planning your Christmas party. Wow, only celebration mood. Yeah, from here to the end of the year. Very well done, excellent, congrats. Someone else, another participant? Nobody else. Dimas, hello, please be my guest. Begin, Dimas. Okay, I will say Latino teacher. <laughs> um, of course you will. <laughs> We were talking with my coworker that from the month of November uh, 2022, uh, we will be participating in the preparation of the MDGers events, the Christmas turkey distribution and the Christmas banquet or dinner in which we will enjoy a delicious barbecue and very cool drinks. Celebrate that we end one more with big dream and course to complete. Hay palabras que no las puedo decir bien. You continue. Goals to complete. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So on, uh, you say 22nd, right? 22nd. November 22nd, yeah? And only celebration, only celebrations for you. Celebration. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, because you were mentioning only celebrations. So congratulations, we are happy for you. Blanqui, Blanca, you want to read, please? Begin. Yes, teacher. okay. Uh, the event in my company. In my company, the temporary events are where October 24th to October 28th inventory. In November 20, 20th, in my company organized arise. These events organizing for human resources. These events taking place in Santa Ana City. And finally, we are celebrating the Christmas and New Year's. New, New Year's. And in the end, you're having the celebration for Christmas and New Year. Okay, the New Year celebration. Very well done. One more, or that's it. Does anybody? 
want to read somebody else? Okay. Thank you so much. But I was listening to you in the breakout rooms. Okay, great. Now let's continue with our activities. In here, class. Okay, here we go. Okay, look at this. And please pay close attention to this question. Do you ever call tech support? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Okay, here. Do you ever call tech support? Yes, I do or no, I don't. This is the first question. When do you do it? When do you do it is the second question. In the case that you say, yes, I do, then when do you do it? These are the two questions you are going to be asking and answering in the breakout rooms. If I say, for example, um, okay, Clelia, Clelia, do you ever call tech support? Um, no. no, I don't. Okay, so I don't ask when do you do it? Or maybe you can ask when do you do it? Y cuando llamas, cuando pides eh, ayuda técnica. When do, you, when do you do it? Cuando pide ayuda técnica? Um, um, never. Never. Okay, great. Now, uh, congratulations, because I, you know, in the chats for my students with the Zoom apps and everything, and in, and in other platforms, in other places, okay, different with the connectivity, with, you know, everything. That's why, okay. So, um, Blanky, ask me the two questions, please. Blanca, ask me the first question. Do you ever call the support? Yes, I do. When do you do it? Um, when I have problems with the platforms that I work with, and also when the material in the platforms present some difficulties for my students, and also when there is a special situations and my students cannot join to the class, yeah. And then I ask for tech support or when there is an app that is not working with the format that we are used to, then I call tech support. And that's it. So these are the two questions that you are going to be asking and answering right now in the breakout rooms. You only have five minutes. So answer at once. Ask at once. Blanky, ask me. And I ask Clelia. Clelia is going to ask another person. The idea is that you're not going to read the two questions for everybody. La idea no es que Yo voy a leer la pregunta para todos y todos contestándome no. Practice questions and practice answers, okay? Only five minutes. So let's begin. Here we go. Open your eyes big because the invitation was sent. Ya le envié la invitación. Jonathan, I'm going to ask you to join group number four, Jonathan. Let me see. No, group number five, actually. Okay. Jonathan, go to group number five. Nilton in group, okay. Serafin, group number two is yours. They are waiting for you, Serafin. Edwin, please go to group number four. Edwin. Edwin Roberto Mineros Mejia, go to group number four. And Serafin, go to group number two. Okay? Hello, hello. We are going to be waiting for both of you guys. Serafin, group number two. And Edwin in group number four. Hi. Ed, Serafin. Group number two is yours. No, I don't listen to you. I'm so sorry. No le escucho por el micrófono. 
¿Me sacaron o me sacó? No, si aquí está. Usted no prestó cuidado, pero aquí ha estado siempre. Vaya, no, lo, voy a, lo voy a mover al equipo número uno y luego lo regreso al equipo. ¿okay? Edwin, al, al si dos. tenía... Ajá. Vaya, a Edwin lo vamos a agregar al equipo porque él ya estaba en uno, me parece. El equipo cuatro pertenece a Edwin. Okay. Edwin, go to group number four. Con el otro okay. dispositivo. Ok, thank you. Serafín, lo voy a enviar al equipo, como le dije, al equipo uno. But pay attention. Y luego lo, lo envío al equipo dos para que trabaje. Ok. Here we go. Number one. Sí, ya vio la, la, la invitación. Vaya. Do you ever call this support? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. When do you do it? Es cuando, cuando lo haces. Ahí esto te va a decir lo que dijo al principio. Ajá, ok. Um, problem this platform, virtual platform. Um, me too, me too. Teacher, solo vamos a contestar a dos preguntas o vamos a repasar la, la conversación, ¿verdad? No, only the two questions. Ya preguntaron y contestaron todos las dos preguntas. A empezar, vamos, teacher. Sí, porque solo esto, porque luego les voy a explicar la dinámica de, de la conversación, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Sí, les pregunto porque okay. Edwin tenía problemas con la conexión, pero ya está acá Edwin y también Carmen Guadalupe para que se turnen, ¿ok? Sí, yo. Ok. Ok. José Mario, ¿do you ever try? O podría también ser ahí una respuesta como cuando tenemos dudas de usar el, un sistema, porque por ejemplo, cuando yo entré a trabajar había un sistema, pero como unos cinco meses después instalaron otro sistema. Entonces nos ah, capacitaron entonces para... para usarlo, nos capacitaron para usarlo, pero de repente mientras lo estábamos usando surgieron nuevas dudas. Entonces otra respuesta podría ser ahí, este... Para capacitación. Uh, ajá, como para, uh -huh, para saber cómo usar un nuevo sistema para o para solventar dudas respecto al nuevo sistema. Ok, to, to receive feedback. Ok. Uh -huh. To receive feedback on the, on the software. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. On the new software. Okay, very well. Yeah, that usually happens because it is expected something, but in reality, according to the, to the, okay, the software might be excellent, but depending on the computer that the company has, yeah, it works different. Maybe it is, a, it is a slower or, okay, many, many things might emerge. Muchas situaciones pueden surgir, ¿verdad? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Permítame. ¿Quién más estaba con ustedes, chica? William. Jonathan. William. Sí. Bueno, quizás tuvo problema William, porque acá les asigno a Jonathan. Varios han tenido problemas esta noche con la conexión. Sí, bueno. de hecho, yo estoy teniendo problemas, me desconecto por ratito. Sí, verdad que saber qué sucede. David ha tenido bastante problema esta noche. Jonathan, William y también Edwin. But Jonathan is here if you want to ask him the questions, ¿ok? Hola. Okay. Hello, hello. Bye. Yeah, I know. 
Uh, okay, ¿quién le va a preguntar a, a Jonathan? Mi teacher. Okay, great. Okay, Jonathan. Now you finished. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Did Filomena lose answer? Ya contestó Filomena. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, excellent. That's it. That's the spirit. Congratulations only for that. Okay. This. Okay. Clap, clap, clap. That reaction. Very well. Okay. So uh, I think that probably it depends on the on the occupation that you have is the frequency that you call tech support, right? Because for example, in my case that I am almost always, always 99.9% .9 depending or relying on technology, many different situations emerge, right? Surgen muchas situaciones, yeah? And that's why I sometimes I have to call tech support. But now let's get back to the main session room, okay? Thank you. Okay, teacher. One group is still working, so let's wait for them. Then we continue with the next activity. Brano, Carlos, San Jose, Miguel, okay? In a couple of seconds, they are going to be back. Okay, so let's move to the next activity. And here we go. Look at these two guys, yeah? And you have here a calendar, 05, the fifth day. And you have a clock over here. Now this is a short conversation. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and later practice with a partner. You have two characters, Peter and Robert. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support, not Tech. We don't say Tech. 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 Technical. Okay. Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like Ida. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? What is it? One phrase, what is it? What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see, let me ask you some questions, okay? So here, um, good morning, this is Peter. This is Peter is what you say when you identify on a phone conversation. You don't say, I am Peter. No. You say, this is Peter. Even though for our understanding and translation is like, uh, habla Peter o soy Peter de uh, tech support. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarle? Okay. Entonces, this is Peter. No va a decir usted, uh, I am Peter. No. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it? What is it? What is it? Remember that this T in this case sounds like an R. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to work. I see, let me ask you some questions. 
parece que no funciona, no trabaja. I see, let me ask you some questions and they ask you. Check out if it is plugged in. ¿Ya? Y comienza con las preguntas más básicas. Vea si está conectado. Yes or no. Ok, at work. So class, right now, what are you going to do? In the breakout rooms, you are going to practice this conversation. You are going to switch roles. When you finish the practice of the conversation, you go over exercise number three. You're going to discuss these two questions, okay? And you write the answers. Only that part. Because in number four here, you have check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. Acá ustedes van a chequear si lo pueden hacer de una vez. En su opinión, in your opinion, which are from this list the most common reasons people call for tech support? You take it. Ustedes van a chequear de estos problemas cuáles son, en su opinión como equipo, cuáles son los más comunes por lo que llamamos al tech support. Is that okay? So you go over, okay? Exercise number two, three, and four. Is it clear? Yes? Comprendimos yes. la actividad. Okay, let's move and practice the conversation as much as possible too, okay? Okay. Let's go to the breakout rooms. I sent you the invitation. Ya le envié la invitación. Serafín, did you see your invitation? Ay. Okay, Edwin, you continue with problems with the connectivity, right? David, Emmanuel, also and William. Okay, hold it. I'm going to assign you to one team. Okay, David, go to group number three, please. Edwin, okay, okay. Edwin, go to group number four, if you are so okay. nice, yeah. And let me see, Willie, uh -huh. one, two, three, four. Okay, William, a cual equipo? Todos tienen cuatro, entonces William lo voy a enviar al equipo number four. Group number four, okay? William, do you listen to the teacher? Al equipo yeah. cuatro, William, please. Okay, great. Let me ask you some question. Okay. Ahora empieza usted. Okay. Good morning. This is Janice from Support. Support. How can I help you? Hi, Janice. This is Mario. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. It's like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Jose Mario? It doesn't seem, seem to work. I see. Let me let me ask you some question. Thank you. Okay, listen, class. William Francisco is here in this group, so you are a Five people, Jenny's, Jose Mario, Edwin Roberto, Carmen Guadalupe, and William Francisco. So please um, integrate them, all of them, okay, to the conversation. Remember to switch roles and hear from the human resources department. I like, no, it like I, because the subject pronoun is I. I like to report the problem. Okay. It doesn't seem to work. Parece que no trabaja, no quiere encender. It doesn't seem to work. Okay. Continue with the practice, please. I'm sorry for the interruption. And now, whose turn is that? Y ahora es turno de... 
Edwin. Edwin is going to practice with? Uh, Carmen. Okay, Carmen, and later someone else practices with William, okay? Thank you, Carmen, begin okay. practicing with Edwin. Okay. Begin. Um, good morning. Soy Peter. Okay. Dale. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How, how can, can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is uh, this is. Uh, hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What's, what is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Al revés. Ah, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I did like uh, to report a problem with my computer. Uh, what is it, Robert? I don't seem to work. Uh, I see. Let me ask you some question. Um, hasta ahí llego. <ríe> ok. Bueno, ahí José, José okay. y Brandon faltan. Ok, hey, Brandon, comenzamos. Yes, yes. Ok. Uh, good morning, this Peter. Hi, Edwin. Robert, this Carmen. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Carmen? It doesn't seem to work. I see, let me ask you some questions. Ahora está el otro compañero. Compañero William. William, are you here? Sí, me escucho. Okay. Who's going to practice with William? ¿Quién va a practicar con William? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, Edwin is going to practice with William. Okay, Edwin, you pues begin. Mario, eh, creo que me hace el favor de compartir la, la, el... Sí, está compartiendo el, la el, pantalla. Es que, teacher, no miro nada, teacher. Uh -huh. Tengo, no veo absolutamente nada. En serio. Uh, bueno, pero sí está mostrando la pantalla. Entonces, tal vez, José Mario Yo puede... Uh -huh. Me salgo y me voy para la galería. Y ahí busco donde he hecho los prints. En serio. Ok. Eh, voy a, voy a, a, a repasar con Williams. Ok, mientras Edwin soluciona. William, okay. get sí. ready. Ok. Good morning. This is Janice from Tech Support. Uh, eh, hola. Ajá. Esa sería la no número 2. <coughs> Entonces sería ahí cómo él reporta el, el problema. Entonces sería he reports the problem calling. How does he report the problem? Tenemos que hacer viste. La computadora creo que parece no funcionar. Uh, teacher, uh, 
en este caso eh, es esta la parte esta vamos a hacer verdad yeah, sí, and sí. you have to answer these two questions and later as a group you you take the ones that you consider okay that are mm -hmm. the most common problems mm -hmm. and that's it oh, okay okay Thank you. my pleasure Vaya, este, yo considero que puede force en el screen. Ok. Your computer is not working. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How can I help you? I have a question, teacher. He called to take. No. No. Oh, he calls. Export. Third person singular calls. He calls. Uh -huh. mm. so take support. Uh, no, but, but let me see. Mm, what is the question? How does he report the problem? Uh -huh. He calls the tech to tech support. What is the issue with Robert? Computer. Ahí está la respuesta. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, miss. Tell me, Anna. Mm, por una palabra, at the first question, is who, he, what means? O como la interpreta? I, S, E, I, S, S, U, E. I'd like. I'd like. I would no, like. What, Me no. gustaría. I'd like. At, ah, what, what is at the issue? first question, at first question, what is the issue? Ah, question number one. What is the meaning? I told you that issue is a synonym for problem or situation. Mm -hmm. When you say, I have a situation with my computer, you are saying that you have a problem with your computer or you have an issue with your computer. Synonym, problem, situation, issue. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bye. Um, voy a compartir la imagen de abajo, permita. Para que hagamos la segunda actividad. Okay. lo reporta como un problema. Y el yes. problema es que no, la computadora no trabaja. Okay. Yes. Teacher, con este cuadro que está aquí abajo, eh, eh, según esto que dice acá, que hablar con los colegas y comparar eh, su tablet... Porque van a llegar a un acuerdo para ver cuáles de estos problemas son los más comunes o las razones más comunes de todas estas por las que se llama a soporte técnico. En general en las oficinas, ¿ok? Vaya, y con el ejercicio este, en la discusión está acá. Eh, las dos preguntas. Based on the conversation basándose Ajá. en la conversación, en la información que hay en esa conversación corta. Uh -huh. Ahí está la respuesta. Entonces vamos Ay. a elegir una de las dos. ¿verdad? No, las dos tienen que contestar. Ah, ok. Ajá. Eso es lo que no entendía. Ok, great. Ok, entonces eh, Robert reporta como un problema y el problema es que no trabaja, no está. Una llamada. I call a tech sí. support. Uh, uh -huh. He call, he call a tech support. Uh, support. Uh -huh. support. He uh, call uh, a tech support.
Vale, pero aquí dice que comparemos las tablas. Dice, bueno, no sé si vamos a llegar hasta la parte A y B del número 4. Que dice, la B dice, talk to, to, to college en computer, computer table. Mm -hmm. Sí, es que el primero es... Eh, chequea los, los que o por, por los que más eh, llaman a soporte técnico, o sea, las razones por las cuales más llaman a soporte técnico. In other words, the most common situations why people call tech support in the offices. Uh -huh. no, las sí. razones más comunes de todas esas, ¿cuáles son las más comunes? O por todas, todas son uh, importantes, comunes en el puesto de trabajo. En pues opinión en de trabajo. todo, ¿verdad? Como equipo, ¿ok? Actually, in my work, I will say no internet access for my work for my students, not for me. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. No, no sé si quieren agregar otra ahí. Pues de lo que usualmente me llaman a mí, eso sería. Pero más que todo, a mí <laughs> <laughs> David, David, is, uh, yes, David, you are IT. <laughs> Usted es IT, David. Yes. Really? No. It is good take, to know take. that you can help us. Yeah, you are the, uh, a technician, but in the in the technical area. Yes. Yes, teacher. Sí. Ah, uh, okay. Now we know we're going to make any consultation with you. <laughs> You're an expert. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, bye. Vaya, yo tengo las mías. Compártela. software no inter inter access uh, uh, sería el penúltimo que no sé cómo se pronuncia funi funi noise in the cpu funi noise in the cpu Frozen. Frozen or frozen teacher? Frozen. Like the movie frozen. film Frozen. 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 Screen. 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 Okay, in my opinion, that new software, no internet access, and frozen screen. Jonathan? Jonathan, hello. Or Clelia? Clelia? No. Hello, Clelia. Hello. You are done. You finished. Yes? Hello? Finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's get back to the main session room then. It's time to return. And share.
get ready because I'm going to call your names in order to take the second attendance. But there is one group still working. Group number two is still at work. Okay. Here we go. Marlene, hello, Marlene. Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene. She was here. Let me double check. Yeah, because the platform closed the groups. She lost the connectivity. Okay. Ana Veronica, Veronica. Present. Thank you. Brandon, where are you, Brandon? Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. I am here, teacher. Great. Carmen, Carmen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Clelia. Present. Thank you, Carmen. Clelia. Present. Okay. David, oh no, Danny. Danny is absent today. Oh my gosh. Okay. David Emanuel. David, teacher. okay. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Je, uh, Ivania. Ivania Present. Elizabeth, great. Janice Caroline. Present teacher. Jonathan. 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 Jonathan, the microphone. Jose Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Jose Mario. Present teacher. Juan. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Present, present. Marlene, where are you, Marlene? Here. Present teacher. Nilton. Present. Serafin, are you here, Serafin? No. Serafin here is I not am. here. Oh, here I am. Yes. Here I am, miss. Yes, I was wondering why is he out? William. Hey, William, are you back? William had problems today with the connectivity. There is a he has been always here. Filomena Luz, you should be here. Present. From the beginning Present. to the end. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Present. Thank you. Alejandra Michel, are you here? Lost the connectivity, Alejandra. No, eh? Absent. Okay, listen class, we're going to try to have a little discussion on the issues over here, yeah? I ask you and you answer to me, please. Number one, what is the issue with Robert's computer? What is the problem with Robert's computer? It doesn't seem to work. Excellent. It doesn't seem to work. And how does he report the problem? He report the problem. Uh, calling from the human resources department. Okay. Calling. Okay, he makes a call. And now here. In your opinion, class, which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support? New software, yes or no? No. No. When yes. there is a new software, I will say yes. Because people, yes. it's difficult for people to get used to it, yeah? And no internet access, yes or no? Yes. 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 Oh, it's common, I would say. A virus? Yes. Deleted yes. files? Archivo Always. Que es... 
<laughs> it went hard. They please help me. What did I do? Que hice? Dios mío, oh my God, we say. Paper stacking printer? Yes. Yes. USB ports out of order? Always. Funny noise, a CPU? Yes. Yes, sometimes. Frozen screen? Yes. So all of yes. them and many others. All of them and many others, yeah? Y muchos más, probably. Okay, very well. Yeah, because it depends on the nature of your occupation, right? But these are the most common. No internet access. The virus many times. The deleted file. Uh, frozen screen, paper stock, all of them, yeah, all of them. And here we have ways to report a problem. Formas o maneras de cómo reportar un problema. Common issues to report y los problemas más comunes a reportar. I would like to report a problem. When we say I would like, then this is what you had in short I'd like to report in this case, okay? I'd like to report is the short form for I would like, me gustaría, it is a conditional, okay? Me gustaría reportar un problema. I would like to report an issue. If you remember, I told you that issue is a synonym for problem, trouble, or situation. Okay, todos estos son sinónimos. Y agregaríamos acá, I have a situation. That is like a colloquial, very spoken, but it is a synonym for trouble, issue, or problem. Uh, Jose Dimas, tell me. You raise your hand. Oh, hey. este, en gracias. No, no, eh, ya, Ya que es la parte esa que uh, like, I would like I to would, report, la, porque como iba contra contractado. ¿verdad? Yeah, I'd like, yes, here uh -huh. it is. I'd like to report because it is a polite way. But if you call the IT very angry and upset and you say, hey, my computer is not working, so I need you. Oh, what's going on here? They are going to tell you, okay, I'm going to give you a ticket. Yes or no? I'm going to assign you a number and you continue with the problem. So it is better to use polite language, yeah? Friendly language. Es mejor usar un lenguaje amigable. And then um, it does not seem to work. Parece que no funciona, no trabaja. It makes a strange noise or it makes a funny noise. It does not turn on, no enciende, no arranca, okay? So what are you going to do right now here based on this? Ways to report a problem and common issues to report. You have here one, two, and three tables. What are the common issues you, this is personal, you have in your workplace, yes? Write down the most common problems you have with the equipment in your office. Write the problems you and your classmates have in common in the middle. So over here, I would have, okay, for example, number one, this is my case, okay? It is not for me, thank God, but for my students. Internet uh, problems. That is for me. Uh, issues you have in your workplace. Porque es en mi trabajo. No es, verdad, en, en casa. And, uh, uh, okay, write down the most common problems you have with, your, with the equipment in your office. Again, I will write here... Um, the most common issues you have in your workplace. Lo más comunes que tengo es internet problems. Write down the most common problems you have with equipment in your office. Maybe mm, somebody might say, acá vamos a escribir, ah no, porque ahí serían los del compañero o compañera. Ya le explico. Uh, maybe the, the computers are too old 
en algunos casos, the computers are too old. Yes. Fíjense que para nosotros el caso de la enseñanza no tiene que ser old, porque de lo contrario no resistiría las plataformas, ¿sí? Entonces, needs to be updated. Necesita ser de las, de las más recientes para que no hayan fallos. So, no frozen, this and that, different problems. Okay, so here I am writing Irma's problem. Here I'm going to write, for example, Juan Ezequiel, tell me your problems. What are the common issues you have in your workplace? Obviously, bad with connection. bad connectivity. Okay, you don't Good say connection. that. We say poor connectivity. Poor connectivity. Okay. Entonces, en este espacio, in this uh, space, I write my problems. Here I write one of my partner's problems. Y fíjense acá en el centro que vamos a hacer. Ok. Here. De lo que he escrito de estos dos, ¿cuál es el problema más común que enfrentamos ambos? Ok. ¿Cuál es el problema más común? Por internet uh, connectivity. ¿Ya? Entonces, usted escribe los suyos en un espacio, los de un compañero en el otro espacio, y luego van a escribir acá los que de ambos sean en común. ¿De acuerdo? Yes. Is it clear, class? Hello. Yes, it's clear. Yes, it's clear. Okay, so now let's move to the breakout rooms. I'm going to send you the invitation and let's do it because later on you are going to present it to the class, okay? Here we go. I am opening the breakout rooms right now. Go to your groups. Please. Join your groups. Marlene, you have problems with the connectivity, right? And Marlene, uh, your group was uh, number five, right? With Jonathan yes. and Marlene, with Jonathan and Marlene, right? So I'm yes. going to assign you to group number five. I'm sending you at this moment the invitation. And Jose Mejia, your partners where? ¿Quiénes eran sus compañeros? Jose Mejia. Era Carlos y Davis. Okay, team number three. Go to team number three, Jose Mejia. And William, okay. you also have problems with the connectivity, right? Hi, William. Tenía problemas con la conexión. Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Carmen Guadalupe. Go to group number four, Carmen. Carmen Guadalupe, your classmates are waiting for you in group number four. Okay, join. Thank you. In your workplace. Okay. ¿Cuáles son los problemas más comunes? Sí, que tienes con tu equipo de trabajo en la oficina, ¿verdad? Sí. Y está. Sí. Yo veo. Eh, ¿Cómo se cae el sistema? Ah. Uh. Blue screen, ¿qué otro? Bueno, bueno aquí. Bueno, yo creo que para mí solo es. Ah, ok. Ajá. Pongamos, pongamos unos nuevos en el tercer cuadro. Ah, los medios, vamos a ver. Aló. <ríe> Un pequeño. Eh, system, system low. <ríe> ah. Sistema lento, system low. Low system, slow, también. slow system. Slow. Slow, slow, ajá. Slow system. Slow system. Sí. En el otro cuadro. 
The slow system. Pero es Operating que miren, system. Oiganme. Es, pero es en, oiganme. En, es en el, el otro cuadro, cuadro. tercero, el señor que tiene lentes tiene que estar escribiendo. Oh, Por eso lo está escribiendo en el otro cuadro, el señor wearing eh, sunglasses. El señor que está usando <risa> lentes de sol. Por eso lo está escribiendo en el, en el que no es. Ok, great. Ahí sí. <risa> yeah, that's correct. Ajá. Uh -huh. There was an interference because of that. Porque en el del centro van a escribir lo que son los más comunes eh, para el grupo. ¿Cómo es lentes de sol, teacher? Sunglasses. Sun, sol. Glasses, lentes. Sunglasses. Ok, teacher. Ok, bye. Ok, great. Um, Finish class. Hi. You are done. Okay, excellent, Edwin. And what about Jose Mario? Mario, not yet. Teacher. Eh, es, estoy Still analyzing. Ok, Edwin. Eh, sobrecarga, teacher. O overload. Overload. Uh -huh. Ok. Overload system or system overload? System overload, I believe. Overload system. Overloaded system. Overloaded, system. overloaded sobrecargado. Finish, girls, Ana Marlene and Marlin, finished. Todavía no, teacher. Not yet. Okay. Estamos creando aquí. Okay, you are building the information. Very well. Hello, hello, teacher. It's correct, my problems. Printer problems, internet problems, system problems. Ah, uh, okay, Excel problems. Ah, uh, Excel. Pero, pero el problema con Excel, ¿cuáles son los problemas con Excel? Veamos, let me see. Ah, mm. uh, que falla alguna fórmula. Oh, o really? alguna macro no se ejecuta bien. Oh, but it doesn't have to deal with the, with the connectivity. Pero no tiene que ver con internet, no. No, no. Oh, okay. Okay, because I, I hardly ever use Excel. But they okay. are okay. Entonces sería Excel problems. Yeah, Excel problems. Ok, lo único que como estamos poniendo casi lo mismo, vamos a comparar, digamos, te doy un ejemplo, pusiste uh -huh. el paper string in print, podríamos poner a este lado, the lives of the print, it, o sea, de falta de tinta de las impresoras. 
Aquí donde va con los compañeros. Ajá, de los compañeros. Y ahí en medio podemos poner el. el no por eso, ahí. pero pero a ustedes les sucede esto mismo, ¿no? Por eso mismo ya, por eso mismo llaman al, 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 al soporte técnico. Sí, sí, sí. La mayoría, sí. Ajá, por eso. Estaba en, lo, en, mi, en mi office así. Que todo, lo de, todo lo de acá y más. Teacher, ¿estamos bien? O, o? Están bien, pero nada más que miren, acá van a escribir ustedes al centro los problemas que son comunes entre los compañeros de los que están acá, de los uh -huh. que están comentando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, yo veo acá virus, 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 that's okay. Paper stock in the printer, ok. No internet access, man and as equipment, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, that's ok. Excelente. Perfect. That's okay. it. I'm so sorry, but we have to return. We have to return. Tenemos que regresar. Keep that information, okay? Because we're going to have the feedback tomorrow with this information. So save the information. Guarden la información. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Okay, class, listen, because of the time, we're going to continue this activity. We're going to give the follow up for this activity tomorrow. Why? Because, um, okay, we need to practice and discuss, but save the information and it is going to be the feedback, right? So, Anna Veronica, I need you please to stay with me after class, okay? If you are so nice, Veronica, please, okay. okay? For the rest of the class, I appreciate your attendance to the class and you were working very hard. Miren, si hay alguien que me debe actividades en la plataforma de la semana 3, 2 y 1, por favor, pónganse al día, okay? Only Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Monday. Solo cuatro clases más and this is over. Y esto terminó, okay? So, thank you so okay. very much. Have a good night. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Happy sleep. Bye-bye. Yeah. Only Happy Veronica sleep. stays with me. Okay, Happy teacher. sleep. Bye-bye. Thank you. I appreciate your attention. Have good a night. good night. Bye-bye. Blessings. Bye-bye. Take bye. care. Bye, Filomena. Thank you for being here. David, thank you. Juan, bye-bye. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye, Filomena. Okay, Veronica, here we go. Are you at work, Veronica? Este, hola. Today you are not at work. Hoy no está en el trabajo. No, yo estoy en mi casa. Ah, Ahora ok. Estaba ahí corriendo. Ayer estaba en el trabajo. Y oh, okay. Que me ha tocado viajar. Sí. Yeah, and the traffic jam, right? Sí. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Entonces, por eso la semana pasada, bueno, la clase esta, esa nueva contracción, de hecho, lo que preguntaba Dima de Google Like, mm -hmm. ahí yo no entendía esa, esa, ¿cómo se dice? Esa, esa parte de, de contracción, ¿verdad? Ah, ya le explico acá. Sí. Fíjese bien. Es una expresión muy amable y cortés para pedir algo, polite requests. Entonces decimos, would. Es condicional, un auxiliar condicional. Es decir, se tiene que dar una condición para que suceda algo. Entonces, decimos, en este caso solo estamos trabajando, porque ustedes son niveles básicos, con I, la primera persona, y would, ¿verdad? Would like, me gustaría, ¿ok? If you say, you would like, would like, se mantiene. He 
would like. ¿Por qué no cambia el verbo like? Porque cuando lo usamos en tercera persona, en presente simple, porque would es un modal auxiliary. Es un Como verbo can. modal. Ah, correcto. Entonces, con tercera persona de singular no cambia su escritura y la forma corta que es como se utiliza en la vida real sería I'd like to I'd like to me gustaría and then you say you'd like to mm -hmm. se mantiene para todas las personas there's no special okay. person and okay. then we say he'd like to ok Like and, okay. Y le vamos a ir poniendo complemento. He'd like to order a pizza. A él le gustaría ordenar una pizza. You'd like to, uh, to have, you'd like to have a lot of money. Who knows? Who, who doesn't? Okay. Okay. A quien no le gustaría tener mucho dinero, ¿verdad? Okay. I'd like to. For example, if you say, I'd like to marry in December. A mucha gente le gusta casarse en diciembre, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. I'd like to marry in December. Entonces, uh -huh. esa es la estructura. I'd like to, en el caso nuestro, I'd like uh -huh. to report. Me gustaría reportar. Uh -huh. I'd like to report uh -huh. an issue. Okay. With... My printer, for example. Me gustaría reportar un problema con mi impresora. ¿De acuerdo? Es un pedido, una ayuda que se le está pidiendo a otro compañero de trabajo, a otro colega. Por eso usamos ese idioma suave, ¿verdad? Okay. Amigable. Okay. Otherwise, they are going to tell you, um, I don't have time. I'm so sorry. Okay. okay. Pero vea. Este otro tema, teacher, es que vi que han estado utilizando el ING. Y ah, este, ING. ING, ah, correcto. Ah, ING. Vaya, Entonces, le explico. Vaya, sol, sol, solamente, ¿verdad? Que eso lo están, eh, cuando utilizamos la forma ING, eh, lo estamos haciendo en el presente, pero como que la acción se estuviera realizando en el momento. No. No. No, ya, le, ya lo vamos a contrastar. Uh -huh. Es que como ha tenido problemas estos días, ¿verdad? Con la conexión. Sí, no, y más que todo que he estado saliendo. He estado saliendo un montón eh, visitando clientes. Entonces, mm, realmente... Le ha presentado, casa. vaya. Entonces, mire, acá. How to use present continuous for future events. Ese ha sido el centro. Cómo usar el presente continuo, pero para eventos a futuro. Porque usualmente... Nosotros nos asociamos el ING for ongoing situations, para acciones o, o actividades que están realizando en el momento. Sí, I am uh, taking my class. I am talking to you. I am working in the computer. Eso es lo que estoy haciendo en el momento. Pero en este caso, we use the present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now. Usamos el presente continuo para hablar sobre eventos que ya han sido programados, arreglados, calendarizados en un tiempo más tarde que el actual. Y la estructura es sujeto, el verbo to be, el verbo principal debe ir en ING y el complemento. Ejemplo, I am meeting the interns tomorrow. Quiere decir que yo no me voy a reunir con no me estoy reuniendo con los interns en el momento, sino que mañana. Sería, me voy a reunir con los interns tomorrow. Mañana me voy a reunir con ellos, ¿de acuerdo? I am writing the report next week. Voy a escribir el reporte la siguiente semana, ¿sí? Y luego teníamos acá en otra, eh, mire, How to use the simple present versus the present continuous. Acá estamos contrastando las dos estructuras. We use simple present for general information, routine activities. El presente simple lo usamos para describir routines. Um, what else? Uh, habits. 
general truth y hechos reales, ¿verdad? I check my email every morning. Ese es el presente simple, pero el present continuous for ongoing actions. Esto es lo que usted me decía al principio, el presente continuo para acciones en el momento. I am planning a video conference. En este momento yo estoy planeando la videoconferencia. Es distinto el uso al anterior para eventos a futuro, ¿sí? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, they are getting the documents ready. Ellos están preparando los documentos o están eh, alistando los documentos, como diríamos en salvadoreño, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. She is editing the information. Ella está editando la información, es decir, en ese momento lo está haciendo. Por eso, for ongoing actions, acciones que se están desarrollando en el momento. And the simple present es para acciones continuas, pero que no necesariamente las tengo que desarrollar en el momento. Y you say, I wake up at five o'clock. Es una rutina. Pero si usted dice, I am waking up right now. Ya me estoy levantando en este momento. Pero podemos decir, I am waking up at six a.m. tomorrow. Mañana me voy a levantar a las seis. Yes. Correcto, así okay. es. Muy bien. ¿Alguna okay. otra situación? Hay acá que estaban, no sé si desarrolló esta actividad. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí ajá, está. Ajá. Here there's de no problem. Ajá. De, la okay. de ahí am. solamente utilizó el this day, que fue lo de ayer para. Ajá, para lo, los eventos temporales. Ajá, y el, y el this a moment. Ajá, a this moment, a this moment en el momento. Es para lo mismo, ¿verdad? Para contrastar, porque los eventos temporales no son en el, en el momento, ¿sí? Sino okay. que allá de vez en cuando. Entonces, okay. ya para ir terminando, necesito que repasemos speaking. So, okay. I would like you to read this short conversation, please. Okay. For me. Okay. okay, please read it. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. I who is analyzing the advantage in the company, Peter is. Analyzing, only that word, analyzing, 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 analyzing. okay. Analyzing. And here, yesterday analyzing. you were here, right? When we were reading this. Ayer estuvo acá cuando leímos esto. Sí. Ah, okay. Ya hay un montón de palabras nuevas, la verdad. Ajá. Para describir el, el, el vocabulario. Okay, so read the four paragraphs and that's it. Vaya, léame los cuatro párrafos. Okay. So you can organize, practice reading. Organize the yoga class. Class. Uh, if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga call have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function and lift mood. What does Golai want? Uh, those, wouldn't want, wouldn't want. Wouldn't want, wouldn't want those outcomes. Uh -huh. Celebrate birthday. You don't just have to rally on business game to Bruce morale. Simply uh, act no wedding. A special occasion can have a big pinta, big impact. It your your them, the uh, team that you care about uh, them as people not just as employees. You're everyone to sing a car, have cake once a month, or simply, but then a round uh, of coffee each time someone in your team has a birthday. Only rely on, to rely yes. on. To rely, rely. Acknowledging, rely on. acknowledging. Acknowledging, acknowledging. Okay. To rely okay. on, acknowledging, okay. Painful. Painful. Give your employees an opportunity to let or let off some steam by organizing a day of painful. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for 
the app more. Watch out through at the boss, you're going to be prime target. Okay, yes. do, yes. watch out, do, not through, do. Watch out, watch what, out do. through. Watch do. Out. do, 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 aunque. Ajá, que um, aunque. Ah, es que está la otra que es con, con R, ¿verdad? Yeah, similar, ajá, uh -huh. the proposition. Ya, no ya estaba agregando el S. Yeah, Watch okay. out, do, ok. Guess who, guess who. Guess who. Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put uh, them all, all you on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses uh, for what each one. It's a bit of easy light charity on that will definitely a hair lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Very well, only childhood, childhood. Childhood, no yeah. childhood, no. childhood. Yeah, childhood, yeah, childhood. Child, childhood. Bye, voy a repasar okay. eso. Okay, yes, great. Thank you for giving me your time. Have Gracias a good night. <laughs> okay, not to you. See you tomorrow. Sleep well, bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.